This video was brought to you by Curiosity Stream. I really hope they feel like they got their money's worth on this one because the saxophone solo that we're gonna be talking about today is really bad. Sounds like if somebody ran a mile and was forced to breathe out of a saxophone. It sounded like a goose having sex. It's from an alternative take of the 1956 song The Jones Girl by the Five Satins, and Twitter seems to have this recurring fascination with it. To be 100% honest, I also have a recurring fascination with it. It's really, truly atrocious. It's not very good at all. It's been called the worst jazz solo of all time. But what do we really mean by that? Can we quantify that in any kind of meaningful way? Can we use some kind of music theory analysis to explain its badness? Well, some people have tried. One article called it atonal, which just isn't true. Actually, atonality is the absence of tonal center, and in the recording, the saxophonist keeps playing the same note over and over and over again. It has a tonal center. A tonal center. Anyway, the same article claims that the solo is a pale imitation of bebop saxophonist Charlie Parker, which just is not true. In fact, the real history behind the solo and its musical lineage is a lot more interesting and, believe it or not, more nuanced. We are here today to try and figure out what makes a solo bad. We need to understand what it is we are listening to before we pass judgment. It's easy to make fun of something, but hard to come to grips with why exactly we do that. Solo means I only have to play one note, right? It's not the notes he's playing, it's the notes he's not playing. You mean literally all other notes. Just have Jerry do the solo. Jerry only knows one note. He'll be fine. So grab a cup of coffee, get comfortable. We're here today analyzing the worst jazz solo of all time. I'm gonna laugh at myself right now. I wrote that thing song called The Jones Girl. And I always thought it was a big time, a big time hit record. And it took 63 years for it to recognize it's some. 